When the heart is damaged by disease, scar tissue replaces the normal beating muscle. With enough damage, the organ ceases to function. Sometimes we can replace the malfunctioning organ, but we always face the possibility of rejection. What if we could teach our bodies to regrow new cells to replace the damaged ones? To literally heal itself from within. And that's exactly what we want to do here at the Board of Governors Heart Stem Cell Center. We want to teach our diseased hearts to regenerate themselves from within. Five years ago, we had no idea that the heart could regenerate itself. It was considered a heretical thought. The recognition that the heart contains an innate regenerative capacity was a fundamental paradigm shift in science having to do with, uh, with the heart. And then the discoveries were made by Eduardo and several of his colleagues that, in fact, the heart can regenerate. Now the chase is on to develop the right treatment. When a patient's had a, a bad heart attack, where there's an extensive amount of heart muscle damage, they face a future that may include a worsening of their heart condition so that they have bad congestive heart failure. Imagine if instead of having to have a heart transplantation, they could have that similar benefit from an infusion of stem cells. Cardiac-derived stem cells come from the heart. They're heart cells that were destined to become heart cells. So you can take biopsies from the heart muscle and you can grow these cells and then re-inject them back into the patient. The exciting thing about stem cell therapy is that this big heart attack might be healed by the use of the patient's own cells in a way of healing from within. What's unique about our approach is that the cells that we're using is that they actually are predestined to become heart muscle and blood vessels. Cell therapy would actually be something that would make such treatment available to a larger number of patients before they have reached the stage where there's nothing else that can be done but giving them a new heart. One of the great things about this therapy is what it can do for patients and its ability to reduce a patient's need for a transplant. It might reduce their needs for medication and most importantly should be able to to improve their quality of life. There would be no chance of rejection and no need for all of those medications to suppress the immune process. We're in the process right now of creating the kind of regulatory filings and documents that we will present to agencies such as the Food and Drug Administration to allow us to begin clinical trials before uh, March or April of 2009. I think we'll be poised to, to actually develop a treatment that's available to everybody in about five years. You're talking about helping millions and millions of patients because of the widespread nature of heart failure that we have in modern society. Patients might be able to have their hearts restored enough that a person who otherwise retiring early would say instead, gee, I feel pretty darn good. I'm going to keep working. That would be, in and of itself, a victory. Great ideas in medicine cannot be transformed into actual treatments for our patients without the hard work of scientists and without financial resources. The Board of Governors is a tremendous organization of people who are excited about medical therapy and excited about where we can take this. The key thing for us to succeed in the Board of Governors Heart Stem Cell Center is to build a team so that the resources will be used at least partially for recruiting and to build the infrastructure. So things like a manufacturing facility so that we can go all the way from the patient's own biopsies to a cell product that we can re-administer to the patient in the clinic. We need to have an experimental imaging facility allowing us to take human volunteers or the subjects getting stem cells and image them with novel imaging methods using MRI, CT, or potentially the PET-CT scanning method. Bringing those elements together, creating something new, is going to be an undertaking that requires resources and commitment that will transform the potential of this place into a reality. Without the Board of Governors, it's unlikely that we can make the progress that we need to make in terms of getting therapies into patients as soon and as efficaciously as possible. We have the opportunity to become the best hospital for cardiac disease in the West Coast and one of the best in the country. The future of heart stem cell research is right here, right now. It's in your hands.